g'day. Welcome to Treasure Hunters. This is the show that takes you to amazing places and exotic locales where adventure awaits you at every turn. And at the end of the journey, the ultimate reward, treasure. Today's show explores a fascinating tale. Legend has it that many years ago, a chest was buried under a shop in downtown city. Here we are. Welcome to Little's Pet Shop. May I help? You? You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. It's in Riley's chair, but Riley. Oh, uh, sorry. Give me, a, give me some kind of spoon. Come on, let's try the latte. All right, here we go. Here we go. Move it, move it, move it. Hold it! This is my chair. <sighs> Omg, I can't even sit down around here. I wish this camera crew would leave already. But this is so exciting! <gasps> oh, a real-life television show shooting in our pet shop. Arg. Uh, Zoe, why are you dressed as a buccaneer? Blythe said they're filming treasure hunters here today. It's a pirate movie, isn't it? Arg! I do a great arg. <laughs> arg! <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. What are you doing, Vinny? Every pirate movie has a pirate jig, matey! <laughs> Don't ruin this for me. I was here first. Hey, you two, they don't need actors or dancers. Treasure Hunters is what's called a reality show. What's that mean? It means that instead of getting actors to pretend stuff, they get regular people to pretend stuff. Duh! How do you know so much about this? Are you kidding? Treasure Hunters is my favorite show. I've only seen every episode of the only show where adventure awaits you at every turn. And at the end of the journey, the ultimate reward, treasure! Whoa! Oh, excuse me. A cup of tea for you? Oh, you look busy. Sorry. Mrs. Twombly, maybe you ought to let the TV crew know that they're being disruptive. Oh, I couldn't do that, Blythe. That would be rude. Mrs. Twombly! Uh, good eye. Well, hello, Mr. Robinson. A tea? <laughs> Please, call me Riley. We were hoping you could help us, Mrs. Twombly. Do you know the year this building was constructed? I think it was 19-something, or, or maybe it was 18-something. Uh, of course, that's long before I was born. <laughs> Would you like some more tea, Riley? Quiet on the set! Camera rolling! And action! G'day again, everyone. Today we are following a lead to an amazing story that happened right here. This is a photograph of the site we now stand on. Littlest pet shop over a hundred years ago. Henrietta Twombly lived in a cabin where it was rumoured that she talked to her pet animals. Hedgehog, skunk! Gather the others and meet me and Dog in the cabin. I need everyone. Monkey, panda, mongoose and gecko. I have something to show you. Say, Britman, talking to the animals, that Twombly is, like, totally off her rocker. Positively, like, rockerless, as if they could understand her. Now, I just wanted to show you something extremely valuable. You must keep it a secret, though. This is my treasure. Priceless, wouldn't you say? As long as you have this treasure, my sweeties, you'll never go hungry. Did she say treasure? Treasure! That's right. There have been rumors about a treasure that was buried right here, somewhere on this very location. 
But now, we at Treasure Hunters have come upon this exclusive. This map notes quite clearly that the chest is buried 40 paces from the cabin entrance, which leads us 37, 38, 39, 40, directly over here. Mrs. Twombly, they're painting on the floor. Fascinating. I've always heard odd rumors about my great-great-grandmother, Henrietta. Okay, now they're pulling off the floorboards. Isn't this exciting? Maybe we'll find out if those old stories are true. Okay, now they're digging a hole in the pet shop. Oh, dear. They're working so hard, they'll need refills on their tea. Coming right up. This is so cool. I wonder what's inside. Oh, maybe gold. Or, or silver. Or doubloons. Or triploons. Or just a whole lot of dirt. And they'll leave us with a big hole in the pet shop. Uh, this is not going to end well. And even if they did find something, I doubt that Mrs. Twombly will get any of it. What? But she owns the shop. It's hers. Isn't it? I think the correct legal terminology for this is... Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Well, we'll just have to do something about that. Russell, check this out. Do you see what I see? Oh! Wait, what? Now, pets, don't make any trouble. I'm just going out to run some errands. I'll be back soon. We are most certainly the luckiest pets in the world. A treasure such as this. <sighs> this Henrietta is so wonderful to us. Britman, I do believe she's gone. Right you are, Whitman. Now's our chance to, like, steal that treasure chest. <laughs> oh, it's just one of the pets, Whitman. Perhaps we should just talk to it, like that nutty Henrietta does. <laughs> Dog, would you kindly tell us where the treasure, like, is hey! come Whitman those pets ran off with the treasure this way these pets are like pests oh, hurry they're coming Monkey, they'll never guess this is where it is. Well, well, well. If it isn't the notorious Biscuit Brothers. Sheriff, uh, what are you, like, doing here? I should be asking you that question. Seeing as this is Henrietta Twombly's property, we were just... feeding her pets. We have so much in common with her. We both love animals. Here, Here kitty, 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 kitty. Here, Here kitty. kitty. Well, I think you two are up to no good. Now, I suggest you get yourselves out of here, or you are GTJ. What's that? Going to jail. <laughs> right. <gasps> hey, do you think we should go back and get the chest? I think we better keep it hidden for now. Hmm, but just in case. There we are. We'll always remember how to get to it with this handy map. Those marks on the map, are they what I think they are, Russell? My quills match up to these markings perfectly, which means this map could only have been drawn by a hedgehog. <gasps> no way! Unbelievable! Why is that important? Don't you see, Penny Ling? The TV crew measured 40 paces in human steps. But if a hedgehog drew this map, the paces would be hedgehog size steps. Oh, great. So they're digging a hole in the pet shop floor for nothing. No, this is perfect. Now we can get the treasure before the producers realize their mistake. Blythe, will you please take us outside? If it means we get these guys out of here faster, I'm all for it. Ah, 22, 23. The tension is mounting, viewers. We followed the map through miles of swampy quicksand into the jungle. Give us a break, Pepper. We walked 40 paces out to an alleyway. Yeah, it's a concrete jungle. 39, 40. X marks the spot. This is where we dig for... <laughs> huh. We're not exactly equipped to dig through concrete. Hey, I think I found another way in. 
Biscuit Brothers Construction? <gasps> They've been annoying this city for generations. <laughs> Me, but what is going on? Uh, 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 this is private property. But I live here. You live here. We bought all the property around it. We're in the construction business now, and we like this area. Oh, well, let's just see how the sheriff feels about this. Pets, I'll be back soon. We better keep a close eye on them. Watch their every move. And they're gone. Well, Whitman, digging this tunnel was a brilliant way to go underground to Twombly's property. Truly, Whitman, and it will be worth it when we find the treasure. Nothing. The treasure's not down there. Which seems the Biscuit Brothers must have gotten to it years ago. Ah, oh, blasty treasure hunters. These hunters hit a dead end. This hunt has taken a very promising turn. The lovely and fetching Mrs. Twombly's done a bit of her own treasure hunting. Tell us what you found, Dumpling. <laughs> well, it was just an old box that was left to me years ago. I didn't think it was important until I... <gasps> Not important! How wrong she is! Because inside this box, Treasure Hunters has found something amazing! These are the original blueprints of the building next door. These plans show that the Biscuit Construction Company built a hidden space into one of the walls. See this mysterious B symbol? Could this be where the treasure is hidden? It's like I've been telling you, Morty, increase our visibility and we increase business. Can't you just get me some publicity? Wow, that was quick. Buttercream, did you see a crazy Australian guy run by with the film crew? Did he have fancy, fancy, yellow, fancy ears and a splooshy, mooshy, mermaid tail and a purse, bo purse, banana bow purse that was all wrong for him? No. Nope. He went that way. Okay, folks, this is the spot. It's time to see if treasure awaits. There we are, Fretman. Just a bit, like, farther. Oh no! Our treasure! They found it! <laughs> it's as if they know we're stealing the treasure! And they've begun building all around my little cabin! Don't worry, dear Miss Henrietta. I'm sure we can clear this up. What's that noise? Sounds like my pets. Oh, I hope they're all right. You there! Stop in the name of the law! Let's go, Britman. We can't be, like, caught. We'll hide it in the wall. They'll never find it. Brilliant, Whitman. It'll be safe here. Oh, you can't beat the Biscuit Brothers. Look at this! Woo I can't believe what my eyes are seeing! There's nothing in here. Cut! Why would they go to all the trouble of marking a secret compartment in the wall if they weren't going to put the treasure in there? Because they did put it in here. But someone else took it out! Someone with exceptionally well-groomed balls. Brilliant, Fretman. They'll never find the treasure chest in there. Oh, you can't beat the Biscuit Brothers. <laughs> can't beat the Biscuit Brothers, eh?
can still see where they went. Oh no, the paw prints disappear. That can mean only one thing. They were abducted by aliens. I don't think so, Vinny. Hmm. If we were animals, which we are, where would we hide the treasure? Well, I'd want to keep it where I could see it, right in my own house. So you think they hid it in the house? Well, not in a people house. We'd hide it in our house. And the pets lived in the hollow tree, of course. There's just one problem: the tree isn't here anymore. But maybe we can figure out where it used to be. Come on. Oh, oh come on now, back up. Let's go think about it. We need to get a closer look at the old photo in the map. Blight, can you create a diversion? Hmm, I think so. Hey, everyone. I think I might have found something important. Yeah, uh, what is it, young lady? It's a uh, a uh, door, um, with the words "treasure this way" written on it. Wait, wait. Hey, oh, you're gonna get. Wait, wait. Aha! Here we go. It looks like the hollow tree was in the same spot that <gasps> the dumb waiter is today. The, the dumb, dumb waiter. waiter. What are we looking for? Not sure yet. But keep your eyes peeled. There must be a clue to the treasure somewhere. Mark another map. Something. Uh, uh, not used to uh, pulling this much. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, I think I need a break. It's a secret cave. And look, it's the treasure. Come on, we can hide the treasure in the tree before the biscuits get here. There. Come out of there, varmint. You needn't do that, brother. A fine solution, brother. They'll never take our treasure. Never. I don't think we have much choice. Ever. <laughs> now then, brother, let's collect our treasure. Huh? huh? You're both under arrest for theft, trespassing, and destruction of private property. What? No, surely, Sheriff. There's a more reasonable way to settle this. <laughs> if I may, if I don't press charges, will you let these two nice boys go free? Hmm. I suppose so. But why on earth would you do that, Miss Henrietta? Well, these gentlemen have built such nice, upright buildings next to mine, and seeing that they've ruined my cabin, maybe they could build me something as well. I hereby declare this the grand opening of Twogley's Feed Shop. <laughs> I've always wanted to have my own feed shop. You know, I'm a pretty good cook. At least my pets seem to think so. Well, I'm happy for you, Miss Henrietta, and I have a good feeling about this place. Something tells me your shop will be here for a long time to come. Pepper, Russell, anyone? <laughs> Hang on, I'll have you up in no time. What on earth was all that racket? Uh, you're uh, a little help here. Oh yeah. Well, treasure hunters, it appears my search has paid off. His search? We were the ones who found the treasure. At last, the chest we've been seeking. Now, finally, we can reveal the treasure. Huh? It's the oh, oh pet kibble. Ugh. Now. I just wanted to show you something extremely valuable. You must keep it a secret, though. This 
is my treasure. Priceless, wouldn't you say? As long as you have this treasure, my sweeties, you'll never go hungry. Well, this treasure is all yours. What a disaster! Sorry we couldn't be of more assistance. Oh my, look at this. These are Henrietta's pet food recipes. <laughs> I guess your love for animals is in your blood, Mrs. Twombly. Now these are truly a gold mine. I can't wait to cook up some of Henrietta's treasures to sell at the shop. That's pretty cool, huh, guys? Hey, where'd everybody go? Treasure! <laughs> Hey, we're eating hundred-year-old kibble. Oh. 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 Ah, tastes fine to me. Oh. 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 